Welcome to Grow Overload. I'm Anthony, and today let's look at a little bit of what AMD has for their performance tuning and stress testing. The Radiant Software 2021 AMD has improved their tuning tab in the performance for your Radeon graphics card. Now, I don't know the limitations to this on different graphics cards. I only am testing this on a Radeon RX Vega card. So I believe it should work with all their discrete cards, but I will put a disclaimer on there. If it doesn't work, you can file an AMD bug report. You can ask AMD. I don't, if I had more cards, I would look through more of them. I just don't. And right now they're a little bit expensive as well to get. Um, I will also say that do this at your own risk. This is, you know, tuning, you know, you can call it crashes, everything else. Um, some t sometimes you may think it's stable and then other times as you, you know, you could degrade the silicon of the chip that then over time you actually have to have more power, etc. But if you want to get a little bit more performance out of your car, this is a good way of doing it. And with AMD's new built-in, tools the stress tester i think they made it a lot easier as well without having to go the route of downloading a whole bunch of third-party tools and trying to tweak it to your liking and i think it allows more people to be able to go in and just start going through and seeing if they can tune their card and get more performance out of it as well first thing i will do is that amd does have let's say you get a profile that you like you can click go up here and click save profile save that profile so then you can come back to it let's say if you're if you got a starting point and you want to come back to it that's a good option there um, especially if you're going on manual not using one of the presets or being automatic tuning control you can and then the, then just load that in amd does have a stress test and i'll show that off here in a little bit you know you can launch rise and master but you can add a game profile so each game let's say you know some uh, games are much lighter on the GPU than others. So you could then tweak that one way higher, way make it way more performant, right? And then when, let's say, you have a harder game to run, you would then have to use a different profile. So that that's an option there as well. I'm going to stick with the global profile, the global tuning as they call it here, and I'm going to be starting the automatic section. Now they also have preset, which has on this Vega card you have uh, power savings, balance, or turbo, and then you can have manual where you can go in, you can enable your GPU tuning. Um, I think it even oh, yes, yeah, so you can even do each of the, your seven states here. Uh, voltage, you can do memory timings on the level, advanced control, so you can see that as well you can do the advanced control for your fan curve and then you can do your power tuning and you can set your you basically set your power limit on that as well so not that I'm gonna go into there today because uh, if I bet you if I started doing the manual tuning it may crash on me and it might take me a little bit longer to create this video but when you click on this, again, it's basically telling you you're doing this at your own risk. You know, this is this is a warning here that AMD puts out there. And then if you click proceed, the auto undervolt does, it says 1157 millivolts. Click OK. And then one thing I like to do, right, you get some information here. You can go through and stress test. Now, this stress test, I don't know how verbose it is but you can see here it says Radeon RX Vega it has a duration and you can set it from 15 seconds to 600 seconds on the slider or you can even type into here and just do 60 hit enter then adjust the slider then you click on start tuning and then you got 60 seconds to wait you can do you know if you do 600 you wait a little bit longer depends upon how really kind of much you want to stress test it how st stable it is um, I usually you know when I do overclocks especially on the CPU I run it for 30 minutes to an hour I've even done 24 hours of stress testing a CPU just to make sure 
it's stable enough to go right you could de get degradation on the silicon here right that's one downside to overclocking but in doing so you you have to weigh the pros and cons to it right what if there's degradation further down the road you probably have to tweak this again um, and have different power settings especially if you're pushing a lot of voltage through um, the GPU or you know CPU but this is just your deep GPU overclocking and as you see here you got everything you can see the GPU clock your power consumption your temperature your VRAM clock speeds and your fan speed while it's tuning and after a minute here it just goes finishing up and I kind yeah I get that AMD is putting out you know the current stuff I kind of would like to see them put the temperatures the max clocks and everything in this little fin in this section when you click finish but you can always run another test you can click on overclock the GPU now in this auto overclock right this just goes through and auto overclocks it so I don't know what it's doing but it says 715 megahertz and if you do a stress test on this we'll see if we get another reboot <laughs> or if we get a reboot I guess not another one just it hasn't rebooted yet on me in this automatic state. You can do the presets or manual, but I am a little bit more hesitant on those. They might actually cause a reboot unless I give it a little bit more power. Um, I, I usually run an undervolt on this card. You know, I do keep this computer on all day. So, and I do a lot of, you know, I do a lot more video editing than playing games actually. So I do want, so I do have just undervolt seem to be working the best for that. Maybe eventually I'll go back to overclocking or trying on overclock and adjusting and tweaking, especially with this new tool. I know you'll see there, right? It took a while to jump and update the seconds. It was at 37 to then jump to 47, I think. So it was like a 10 second wait. So there is, hesitance now that's probably expected right you're hitting the GPU pretty hard depending upon what AMD is doing in this and they know the GPU architecture pretty well or so they should be able to understand how to stress test it very well as well so but that is basically it for um, jumping through especially with these automatic ones they're a really great way to kind of go through and just set up some basic uh, settings for you to get a little bit of extra performance I think it's worth it I think it's worth uh, taking a look at and seeing if you can you know depend on what you want depend on how you want to tweak it right less power more performance you have that option and with what AMD's done here I think it's a good option to take a look at and hopefully that this can help you out now if you have more questions about overclocking and stuff leave them in the comments below and if I I'll get to them, otherwise somebody else will as well. Maybe somebody more even experienced than I am with overclocking. I, you know, dabble in overclocking based on every machine I get. I just don't dive in like the, you know, hardcore guys that are doing extreme overclocking or anything like that. I won't say I'll never get into that, but that's just where I'm at currently. So if you're looking at you know getting in getting a little extra performance this is something remember like i said in the beginning do at your own risk this is not i'm not advising that yes you should do this or no you shouldn't i'm just giving you another option if you want to go through and do it i'm not responsible for you breaking your card um but i think amd is also saying that with the, with their warning when you first click on this page i don't remember i didn't uh, fully read that warning at the same time, if you're, you know, this Vega card is quite old now and I want a little bit of extra performance out of it. Of course, I've always done this and the undervolt works quite well. So uh, you refer to AMD or NVIDIA on their warranties. Now, this won't work for NVIDIA, but I just want to mention it with their warranties if you're worried about that. And then I'm kind of glad that NVIDIA came out with their stress test tool and then forced AMD to put this in there because it, it works quite well, I think. And I hope that uh, I see improvement when I do an undervolt for a long period of time that it works well. Uh, last time I did an undervolt, it would restart after a while, but this uh, new tool 
with the stress test seems to AMBs really seem to figure it out a lot better especially for my Vega card so with that thank you guys for watching thank you guys for helping this channel and helping it grow I really appreciate it you guys have been a great community here on growing the channel and until next time God bless and don't forget to like share and subscribe